Hi guys! So I know it's been a long time since I did a video and I'm so sorry. So today uh, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for you guys on this look here. It's like a really pretty great for summer look. It's bright and you can even wear it. It's both day and night because you can wear it during the day when you're shopping or going to lunch. And you can wear it at night when you go out. So it's you can wear it anytime really and it's really pretty. Uh like a mermaidy look with a whitish gold shimmer, turquoise and purples and aquas. So it's really like a mermaid. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And first I'm gonna start off using my primer, which is this Jordana concealer stick, and I use it in beige. And I'm gonna prime my eye just like this. You don't want to put too much because you don't want it to be like really thick. You just want it to be sticky enough to hold your eyeshadows. So I'm going to start off like that. And if you can tell, I finally did my eyebrows. <laughs> okay. So you want to make it really thin layer. You don't want it to be too thick and drag it underneath as well. Okay, so first I'm going to get a pencil brush and I'm going to be using my 88 palette by Coastal Scents and I'm going to take this purple color and it's kind of like a bluish purple. It looks like this. So if you guys don't have the palette, you guys can see it. If you want me to show you, I will. My mirror is broken, so it's this color right. Oh, what am I doing? This one right here. There. And I'm going to apply that underneath my eye. So I'm going to just pencil it like this over. You guys can see, sorry. So like this underneath. And I'm going to get some more. And just apply that right under your eye. Just like that. And if there's fallout, it's okay. Yeah, I'm just going to get some more and apply it to the corner. Just like that. So it's a really pretty light bluish purple color. Next, I'm going to get a regular shading brush. And this one's just like this. I know they have one for e.l.f. Sigma has one. I'm sure MAC has one. It's awesome. Most brushes have a brush like this. And it's just a regular fluffy shading brush. And I'm going to go in with an aqua color. And I'm going to be using this color here at the top. And I'm just going to get some of that and apply that to the inner of my eye. So right here. And blend it out some more and apply that right there face and see it's a really pretty aqua -y light color not too dark so just like this and blend it up like that not all the way just like right to the middle it's really pretty and then I'm going to take a flat brush like this one, it's really flat, and I'm going to go in with that same purple and apply that to the middle of the eye. So right here, just like that. Blend out anything you want, I usually just blend it out. can see it's really pretty next I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush like this one it's light and not too fluffy but like a little fluffy and I'm gonna go in with this bright aqua color here you can see me and apply that to the corner of my eye so right here and just swirl it and blend it up in with other colors it's a really pretty color 
just like that, if you guys can see me. So... Just blend it and blend it in here as well, into your crease. Just like that. It's a really pretty color. Next, with a flat brush, or you can use one like this, I'm going to go in and use a matte brown. And I'm going to be using this brown right here, just a matte brown. And I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. Well, not my brow bone, but right here. Well, yeah, that is my brow bone. So take that and just blend it out onto your brow bone. Blending it in. And you want the end to be a little bit more darker. So just gradually bring it in. Like that. And then, after you do that, which is just a really light, you don't want it too dark. You're going to take these two colors here. Sorry, my broken mirror. Is this color here. And then this one right above it, which is this one. And you're going to mix those. So it's kind of like a copper brown and a lighter brown. And you're going to put that on the brow bone over the brown for like a shimmer look. You guys can see the shimmer is like already coming in. It's, it's really nice. And then you just want to blend it. I usually just lighten it up with my finger. Just like that. So it's not too dark. And then just go lightly in and sh add some shimmer to it. Next, I'm going to apply a highlight, and I'm going to use the same brush. I just wipe it off a little. The same brush to apply my highlight. And I'm going to be using my favorite highlight, which is Max Rice Paper. And I'm going to apply that right below my eyebrow. So right there. And you can just blend it in to lighten it up, which is what I do all the time. So just blend it in. You can bring it into right here. And just blend it in with the rest of the makeup. Just like that. That's pretty much it. So that's for your makeup. Next I'm going to apply some color to my eyebrows. So as you guys can tell I did do my eyebrows. And I'm just going to take a matte brown from the palette. Any matte brown since I did dye my hair a little lighter. And I'm just going to go in and fill them in like this. And drag it down this way. This is just a matte brown and it's really pretty. It works well for eyebrows. And make it as dark as you want. I usually go a little bit darker towards the front. I make it really dark. So, that's pretty much it. I think this one's kind of thicker than my other one. But that's okay. And then, blend it up. So that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to apply some eyeliner. And I've been doing a different eyeliner lately. I've actually been bringing it towards the middle more. Well, not the middle, the end of my eye and just going all the way around. Usually I just stop like right there. So I'm going to take my eyeliner and I'm using the NYC color. And it's just the new one that they have new packaging for. And I'm going to go from here and bring it all the way up. Like that. And then I do a little wing at the end that nothing too dramatic just light then go over that here and then wing it out just like that and now I'm gonna apply some mascara and we all know my favorite mascara is the Almay one coat dial up and I'm just gonna Go like this. You 
can make it as dramatic as you want. I just want to use like a light mascara, not too thick or clumpy. So like that. And then like this. I don't know why the thing went into my eyes when I was like burning. Let's take a cotton ball and dab it out. Sometimes that happens. So what I do when that does happen, because I'm sure it happens to you guys too, I just take like a little piece of a cotton ball and I just dab it. Because it does happen sometimes. Now my eyes like really watery. And my eyes water really bad. So I just take a cotton ball and dab it. Just like that. So next I'm going to go in with some waterline eyeliner and I'm just going to take this and apply it here like that I don't know why my eye is like all of a sudden really watery but it is and it's messing up my makeup no why is it doing this to me now okay well I just blend it out a little. And dab it, just in case. Okay. There we go. So that's how I do it. If you guys, because I'm sure it happens at home. If you guys don't know how to fix it, you don't want to rewipe. I just dab. Don't rub because that's what messes up your eyeshadow a lot. Just dab. Okay, and then I go in with my eyeliner and try again. And there we go. Just like that. And if you want to fix it, you can always just go in and fix it. But I probably won't fix it till later. Okay. So now that I did all that, now, so I started to contour differently now. So I use this contouring color now here, which is this. And it's in my 10 blush palette. I just take a fluffy brush like this one. And I just got some product. And I do like a three, like a backwards three motion. So I suck in. Oops. <laughs> so I suck in and then I go. And do here and go like that. You guys can see. I think I need to pick up a different bronzer soon. And then I go up to here. And I do like a three. So from here I go. And then down to here. And then I go again. So from here down to here. And it's really nice. And easy. There we go. So that pretty much completes the look. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned from my crazy mistakes that happen to me all the time. But I hope you guys like the look. And I will be announcing the winner to my Miss Taylor Kabuki giveaway. Probably, most likely, this Wednesday or Thursday. I haven't picked the winner yet, but I will be picking them tomorrow. And I will either announce it Wednesday or Thursday. So thank you to all of you who entered the contest. And good luck. And I will be posting a new giveaway, which will be coming up in the beginning of the next well, of June, which is tomorrow, but it will be posted up. And yeah, so thanks, guys. And don't forget, like my Facebook page, and I will see you next time. Bye!